Could call the member for Hotham. Thank you so much, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, one of the things I'm most proud of as a member for Hotham is that I actually represent the most multicultural suburb in Australia. It's a place called Springvale in the southeastern part of Melbourne. And would you believe, Deputy Speaker, that 68% of Springvale residents were born in a country other than Australia? Now, I say often to my constituents that people around the country talk a lot about Australian multiculturalism, but in Springvale we live it every day. This is an extraordinary place where people from all over the world live in harmony, live in this beautiful community, and it's full of people who are just so genuinely grateful that Australia has been uh, a welcome country and that they've been able to make a life here. Um, speaker, multiculturalism in Springvale hasn't just sprung up and worked uh, for no reason. Actually, there's a group of organisations that have helped people over a long period of time adjust to a new life in Australia. And one of those is the Springvale Community Aid and Advice Bureau. And I want to talk specifically about this organisation uh, for a moment, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, you can imagine in a community like this that the main clients of this organisation tend to be people who come from uh, countries other than Australia, so they speak often different languages. It's an extraordinary service that they offer, including financial counselling, settlement services, um, emergency relief, lots of youth services for the young people in our local area, um, even job placement. Um, Deputy Speaker, it is astounding to me that in November last year the federal government made an announcement really out of nowhere that cut the access to interpreter services for this incredible local organisation. So, Deputy Speaker, one in eight of their clients presents needing the access to the interpreter service to get the help that they need, and the federal government has taken funding away from this essential service. Um, Deputy Speaker, I want to talk quickly about a couple of people who uh, represent the type of clients here. Um, the organisations told me about one woman with five children who was fleeing a domestic violence relationship trying to find help, and she needed the help of an interpreter service, Deputy Speaker. This is something the federal government is taking away. Uh, another example, a Burmese family recently arrived in Australia. They built up a lot of utility bills. They couldn't read and write, Deputy Speaker, and they needed the help of this organisation to get them out of this financial situation, again needing interpreter services. Now, to identify this as a savings is utterly ridiculous, Deputy Speaker. This interpreter service is a gateway to all of the other services this organisation provides, and I want to call on the federal government to restore this funding that is essential to this organisation doing the work that it does so well. Deputy Speaker, we can't forget that Australian multiculturalism works because we have invested in things that make it work, things like the SBS, things like interpreter services, things like settlement services that help people coming to this country build a fruitful and productive life. The interpreter services must be restored to this organisation to help it continue this important work. Thank you. I give the call to the member.